Hey everyone, it's David from Careform, and today I'm back with another VX Inspect video, and I especially want to talk about the caliper tool. Now, when it comes to measuring distances, our first choice is often to use the distance features. Uh, the fact that the features, such as plane, circles, and cylinder, they all can be extracted from the scan data makes the distance feature a convenient choice, especially when multiple part needs to be inspected. Now, a caliper gauge are not only an alternative to perform distance measurement, but they can be quicker and more versatile than using the distance feature itself. So let's see how it works. First of all, the caliper is a tool to create a distances. So if you look on the toolbar, uh, it's gonna be under the distance feature. If you click on it, you're gonna have the standard distance feature and then the caliper tool is right there. So for my example, I'm gonna use this part. It's a casting from the automotive industry. When you hit the caliper button, every single thing you will require to do a good caliper is in the left panel, just like any other tools in VX Inspect. It's pretty straightforward. If I want to look at, uh, for instance, my overall distance between, let's say, here and here, the only thing I have to do is hit the control key on my keyboard, left click to create my first point. I'm going to go on the other side and I'm going to do the same thing right here. And just like that, I have a caliper that is created. Now, obviously, you can see that it's a little bit at an angle right now. It's because by default, the constraining axis is normal to the first point. So it has taken the normal of the triangle of my first point and created the axis like this. Uh, in my example, I want to have the X distance. So the only thing I have to do is change my constraining axis and go select the X axis of the machine coordinate system. Just like that, I will have the distance in X, which is what I want to do. Uh, another thing that we need to be careful is the radius of my point. Uh, so you can see right now the uh, radius of my selection is a bit small, so I can increase that. Maybe let's put 25, make sure I get the, uh, the point that is the furthest. I will go look at the other side. Same thing makes, uh, makes sense. So if I go back to my predefined view, I do have a caliper for my overall length of my part. Uh, I only change the constraining axis and I change the radius of my point. I'm gonna hit OK there. Let's create another caliper. And this time, let's say that I wanna see the distance between the top section here and the point in the bottom there. Let's say the lowest point. So same thing, I'm gonna hit the control key left click i'm going to select the top here i'm going to hit the bottom section there right now it's giving me a weird weird result my constraining axis uh, i need to change that so i want to have the z-axis this time and i will have my distance just like so but i will uh, have you look at my bottom point here it's not exactly where i want it to be so from the selection it got me the highest point to change that, I only have to go under my point parameters, my second point direction, instead of normal, I will hit inverted. And just like that, it will select my uh, deepest point, if I can say it like that, of my, uh, my groove that I have here, and it makes a lot more sense. So if I zoom out a bit, I can see now my caliper from my top section to the lowest point of the groove right there in my Z axis. Uh, will be defined just like so. And that pretty much wraps things up for the caliper tools in VX Inspect. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you can drop us a like. Uh, subscribe to the Careform channel so you don't miss any cool stuff about 3D scanning. Once again, my name is David, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.